first uh, comic all the way from Daytona, the home state of Idly Ornos. That monster, I love her now. Oh. Keep going for the hilarious Zach Bennett, everybody! Was that pour some sugar on me? Fuck yeah, dude. But I am from I am from the home of the uh, crackhead strip clubs. Uh, anybody ever been to Daytona? Make some noise. It's literally the biggest applause I've gotten for that. Somebody, somebody, mark that down. These are all my bringers. That's I brought these people. Extra money for me. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Dude, somebody, you know, I do shows all over, somebody asked me, they were like, hey, what's, what's Daytona like? And I was like, just like, go find some sand and get mugged in it. It's pretty much, just have a crackhead be like, hey, you got $7.37? <laughs> you ever, it's always like an exact number, I don't know if, is Orlando like that? I think it's, the, the, Orlando has like the, you got any money, Orlando, <laughs> Orlando's like that, Daytona's like, I just need $7.37, let me tell you why. And you're like, please don't, please do not. <laughs> I don't need to know why. Just take your arm in a cast for some reason and move along. And I was like, well, I'll tell you how I broke my arm. I'm like, fuck, here we go. <laughs> I broke my arm because I got syphilis. You're like, that doesn't add up. <laughs> and you know what I need, you know what I need to do now? I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, and they're like, you get on the boat train, and then what do you do? You get on that Greyhound, and where do I gotta go? I'm like, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> like, Toledo, that's right, because my baby mama, she got herpes. You're like, none of this makes sense. I'll give you all my money to stop this interaction. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are lucky, man. This is a fucking killer show. Um, give it up for all the comedy stuff, man. Comedy's not always like this. Who's been to an open mic makes a noise? If you ever see anybody at an open mic who's gonna perform and they look happy, get the fuck away from that person. They are not well. This is not, I promise. If you see somebody and they're like wide-eyed and they're like, hey, how's it going? Can I get on the list? And they're like, that person's a psycho. Get the fuck away from that. There's only two ways to do open mic. You've been doing it for a while and you're dead inside and you're like, I gotta work on a new joke. That's one. And the other one is, is a serial killer. And they're like, hi, can I get on the list? I'm like, that's... I, some people trick you though. I used to, I run a show in Daytona. We, we, we used to have two shows in Daytona. <laughs> one was at a bowling alley and it got, uh, that checks out, I know. Um, <laughs> one was at a bowling alley and it got shut down because too many people got shot. <laughs> it's 100% real. R.I.P. Bill Arlene's. Uh, <laughs> Totally real. They, and I, I don't know if you caught that. I didn't say because people got shot. I said too many people got shot, which means they had a cap and we reached it. Like that's, I'm serious. We were doing a show. We were doing a show and I'm on stage and somebody, like we heard like a pop noise and somebody walked in there like four more and you're done. We're like, what? It's <laughs> fucking wild. So they shut it down. I'll tell you what happened. There was a... Um, this is a great Daytona story for you. <laughs> this was the last uh, incident. There was a uh, there was a pimp, and uh, he was with his prostitutes. Um, it was a company retreat or whatever. Um, so he took him out, you know, to go bowling, keep him happy. And uh, <laughs> they they ran into uh, to another gentleman who uh, I guess he hadn't paid his tab, as it were. He he owed money for his services rendered. And he never paid it. So uh, what happened was he did. They did what any of you would do when you're upset. You pull out your gun. You start shooting, right? <laughs> and then one bullet. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't. <laughs> so one one bullet went through one prostitute's arm and into the other prostitute's ass. Counts as two gunshot wounds. Shows over. Um, so yes, R.I.P. Bell Uh So. That's, so that's the one story. The, the show that's still running, it's at an Irish pub at 10.30 at night on a Wednesday in Daytona Beach. So it's the best thing that can happen to you, honestly. Um, so, so this is probably encapsulates all open mic in one thing. So I had a guy come in once and he had the wide open eyes. He was like, hey, can I get on the list? And I was like, mm, I guess I have to let you because the constitution or something, I don't know. So, so I put them on there. We should say no more, right, comics? What are we doing? Like, when you see them with the wide eyes, kick them out. But some of them probably have guns. Okay, anyway. So put them on the list. And he goes, thanks a lot. And as he's walking away, I look at him in his back pocket. He has a bottle of ranch. 
It's not like where you're at now where there's food. This is just a pub. There's no, it's just beer. And so he walks away, he's got this bottle of ranch. I'm like, well, that's weird, but I don't want to talk to him. So <laughs> he walks away and then he comes back and he goes, like an hour later, he's like, hey, is it my turn? I'm like, yeah, you're next. He goes, great. So he comes back and he goes, wait, what's, what the fuck is happening over here? Oh, okay, that's a staff thing, okay. <laughs> I was gonna yell at people and then I realized it's someone that works here, I'm not allowed, okay. Uh, so the guy comes back, the ranch guy, and he goes, can I get up now? And I'm like, yeah, so I put him back up. He gets on stage and this is how he starts. He goes, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? How are you? Hey, and we are all like, hey, what's up? And he goes, I can't do this. And we're like, oh, and then he, <laughs> And then he walked off stage. So it's like, well, thank God. I wish more comedians would do it. Like, if more, those are the comics clapping. If more, if more people quit comedy, we'd have better shows. That's just, <laughs> but we're all too nice. We, we need people. We'll book anybody on the show if they bring 10 people. Look at me. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know who he was pointing at, but this dude straight just pointed out someone else. <laughs> that one! That guy! Fuck that guy! He sucked, but he got friends! Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> would someone just yell fat titties? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I forgot the callbacks. I'm not sitting there with you guys. I'm like walking around doing shit. Okay. So, uh, so that guy walks up. Next guy walks up, and he looks like he knows what he's doing. He's like, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everybody doing tonight? Good to see you. And he looks down at the girl closest to him. It's like this close as we are to each other. And in the middle of like smiling and saying, how are you doing? He stops and he goes, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, oh no. But we want the show to like go on. So all the comedians, like we're all hoping it's a bit, you know? We're like, please be a bit. <laughs> what is the joke? <laughs> and then... And then he goes, you broke my fucking heart. Yeah. And then, and then we're like, uh, punchline? <laughs> and then she goes, oh, Jesus Christ. And we're like, ah, uh, no, no, no bit. The dude signed up for an open mic to say fuck you to someone in a microphone. <laughs> yeah, still, honestly, the best set I've ever seen. Uh, still. <laughs> And then he looked at all of us and he goes, fuck you, I'm done with all of you. We're like, we're not a part of this, what the fuck? And he goes, peace, I'm out. And he took my $100 microphone and dropped it on the ground, yeah, yeah. But the microphone lasted because I buy good shit because of gunshots. Who the fuck is having a full on conversation? Shut the fuck up in the show, what are you doing? Grow up, Jesus Christ. They're like, well, my meal's done, which means the show's done, but I don't feel like leaving. Mm. Um, so this was where the surprise was at. As that guy says, fuck you, drops the mic, walks off stage, the next person that comes up doesn't ask, can he go up? It's the other guy with the ranch bottle, and he shows back up, and he pops up on stage. None of us knew. He just, ah! <laughs> We're all like, no, oh, what's happening? He goes, hey, how are you guys doing tonight? We're like, we already did this. <laughs> And then he, he looks at all of us and he goes, I got a question for you guys. And he goes, you all ever come? And I see him, he's fidgeting with the ranch. All the comics have put it together. We're in the back, we're like, no, no, do not do this. Because we know what's gonna happen. We're screaming at him, we're like, do And he's like, yeah, time to come. And then, and then he took the bottle of ranch and he, and, he, and he took it out and he put it in front of him and he goes, ooh, which is like, which is like you've never come before, right? Like that's not, and then he squeezed the bottle of ranch, but nothing, nothing shot out. <laughs> because he bought the wrong, he bought the wrong kind, he got the big hole. <laughs> he didn't get the little hole that would like shoot the ring to the squeeze top. Like, like this is your whole bit, read a little bit and get it right. So he got a big hole, not a little hole. So he's got a big hole, and he squeezes, and then and now he's just coming clumps of ranch. It's just, bup, bup, bup. it's just falling out on the floor, and he's going, <laughs> Anyway, if you guys want to sign up, the list is in the back. <laughs> There's that light. Okay, Jesus. 
I always forget you're in the corner in the weird little box and I always forget there's like like most shows there's like a light right there but this guy <laughs> this guy's like um, <laughs> please, please stop. Uh, all right so uh, I got an offer to do America's Got Talent uh, hold on here's the thing well hang on <laughs> I don't know if you just heard all the cum talk but I'm not exactly <laughs> That's what I wrote back. I said, I don't think I'm right for this. <laughs> and then they said, yeah, they were like, they were like, no, just send me your best one-liner. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have course corrected, but I, I listened, you know? I said, what's my best one-liner? And I just went, hey, everybody loves a cream pie until they turn into people. <laughs> so no callback. <laughs> anyway, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. You guys are a killer audience, seriously. Give yourself a round of applause. We